It's easy to feel that the way we experience life is generally the same for others, but did you realize that the majority of people in this world don't actually have the internet? About 3.5 billion people, or only 40% of the world, has an internet connection today, meaning this digital reality we experience is actually done so by a minority of people in the world. Or how about the fact that the majority of people in the world live in this circle? In fact, it contains 22 of the world's 37 megacities, which each have at least 10 megacities million people. Only two cities in America fall into this category, New York and Los Angeles. On that note, the majority of the world actually live in developing countries. In fact, modern language is now advocating to change terms like third world country to majority world country to more accurately represent that these countries are, well, the majority of humankind, even if the G8 countries make decisions that affect the majority of people on this planet. To that point, around 70 to 80% of people on this planet make less than 10 US dollars a day. While even in a wealthy country like America, over 50% of people make less than $30,000 a year. The good news is that global poverty has fallen by half over the last decade, but we still have a global environment where more people have cell phones than toilets. And when they're talking on those phones, the vast majority aren't speaking English as a first language. The majority also aren't Christian. As of November 2016, most people are male, with roughly 55 million less females on the planet, and of our population, the majority are under the age of 30. In America, once you turn 37, you're officially older than half the country. And the most common age for a person to be worldwide? Zero years old, followed by one year old, two years old, three, four, and then 26 years old? Huh. The majority of adults in the world weigh around 61 kilograms or 135 pounds, whereas the vast majority of people in North America are overweight. And while the majority of North Americans drink coffee over tea, three cups of tea are drank for every one cup of coffee worldwide, making it a much more popular drink. Speaking of North America, the majority of the Canadian population actually lives south of Seattle. In terms of energy consumption, the vast majority of the world consumes more than two times less energy per capita than Canadians or Americans. If we take a wide view, it turns out that the majority of the universe is made up of dark energy at 68%. Dark matter makes up 27%, and the rest, everything on Earth and everything ever observed with instruments, otherwise called normal matter, only makes up 5% of the universe. And given that atoms are made up of 99.99% empty space, the majority of you is nothing. Is nothing.